to find the plugin, it's in this menu, the uh, plugins menu, and uh, just click it. And there are two main buttons, the one button and the two button. The one button is called the map button, and it just maps the scene. You click that, it's going to scan the scene, and it's going to apply sticky colors and sticky IDs to everything. And the two button is going to render. If you're wondering where it's going to render and what it's going to render as, it follows your output and your save settings. Um, so uh, basically, you just click this button. You'll notice that it's going to uh, render the sticky pass. It looks something like this. I'm just going to hit escape so I don't render the whole thing right now, but it will continue. And then here's the ID pass. You probably can't see the ID pass, but if I turn on this filter and uh, bring up the exposure, uh, you can see it here. Um, so anyway, I'm going to hit X on that too. If you want to see where these are on disk, you go to view, view sticky ID pass renders folder. One last thing to make note of. Uh, if we take a look at our passes here, we'll take a look at the sticky pass. These are always going to be EXRs without getting into the details. They have to have that uh, color depth in order to be painted on. And the ID pass is always going to be PNG. So in short, if you just have the one button and the two button, um, it's going to do pretty much all this stuff automatically, set your render settings, and uh, that should be all you need to know to get started painting. It's also worth noting that this render C4D scene checkbox is uh, the same as just clicking the render the picture viewer button when you click this to button. So when I click this, uh, instead of just doing the sticky pass and the ID pass, it's also going to launch your main render, whatever your settings are. So if I want to cancel this whole thing, just click this uh, render stop button, which pops up here. Alright, and that should kill all the rendering.